Dear friends, good morning. My name is Philippe Guillouard and my channel is Trek Eco Survie Aventure. Today I would like to talk about to you a plant. This plant is a fern. This plant needs water to live, but I know you say to yourself everything needs water to live. But this fern without water cannot reproduce itself. Here we are in a nice and small forest. Let's have a look at the plant together and discover the heart stone or named in Latin Asplenium scolopendrium. There is a lot of water plant, but there is only one that is remarkable. This is the heart song fur. This white plant is perennial and evergreen. It lives in dime places, which are riverside, wet woods, springs and fountains. This plant was very useful for human beings because of its very large dimensions and because we can find it easily almost everywhere. It was very popular to prevent spleen and liver disease, but now it is used for its diuretic properties. Its name in Latin is Asplenium scolopendrium. The origin of this word comes from a spleen organ. The heart stone occurs in tufts formed by long leaves which are called fronds. They are about 60 cm long. Totally hairless, the front is very green, shiny and pointed. It's about 4 cm wide. There are brown lines on the underside, called sores. Let's have a look at this leaf. We can see all these parallel brown lines. It makes us think of a centipede. That is a French name that has been given to it, la scolopendre. The brown lines or sores are the organs that allows to ferns and to reproduce itself. Not here. If the fronts are hairless, the petiole is hairy. The base of the front is designed as a hair. The source look like an elongated brushes. Those ones contain all the elements that will allow the plant to reproduce and disperse itself. Watch it. They move due to the heat. Once the spores take root, they become a new organism named protels. This organism becomes chandra. It contains the male and female gametes that will fuse thanks to the water. The sexual cells will be able to merge to give a new plant. Each front appears thanks to a bud in the center of the tuft. These buds are parts of an important root system. There are rhizomes in the middle which accumulate food and this is also a lot of rootlets. The hot stone ferns form beautiful plant groups. We have seen that this fern is a good treatment for various diseases but it also can be eaten. If you want to know how to prepare it, please Watch my video in French, part 2 
on my channel. This video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe I'll see you in a month for a new plant. Come many. Thank you. See you soon.